Hey guys, it's Anna Dia again. If you just got done watching my DIV, this is kind of part two of how to draw an IMV layout, except this time we're going to be adding iframe elements. Alright, so I totally just recorded this video and it was really good and I realized I had no audio. So, um, if you hear furious clicking, that's me just going back through the motions with my control Y. Okay, draw yourself a text box and you can put your text on. There it is right here. You don't want to choose what tabs you do, okay? Um, these tabs, when they're clicked, will change whatever is inside this box, which, as you may have noticed, I did change the color of the box because I looked at the uh, video and realized you couldn't see any of my design in the box, so I changed the color. Um, <laughs> anyways, whenever you click on one of these tabs, it's going to change whatever's inside this box. The home, quote unquote home, is what users will see whenever they first come to your profile. Um, so like this, if it's you know, just like that, then people come on, they'll click the blog, and they'll go to my blog page, my blog screen, and then it'll go to home, right here, home. <laughs> they click the home, it'll go back to where it was. Anyways, so many people... You know, you can add tabs anywhere, basically. You can add them up the side, you can add them, you can move them around anywhere, move it, it up above the text, up there, over here, almost in the middle. You can put them on the thing, but it's not recommended. For me, it's going to go down here if I do anything. Okay? Um, or, another option would be to add physical tabs. Like this, you add tabs, literal tabs, and then go ahead and add your text onto it. You can get as decorative as you want. I'm going to add little annotations here. I'm adding random text, and it says YouTube vacation, but you can't really read it. Okay. And now here we are. You can add physical tabs, you can add just text tabs. Uh, make sure they're far enough apart, they can click them. You don't want them like right next to each other. Like a front and page, which you probably can't read because it's really small. Anyway, it says front and page, or front page. And if that was really like this close together, and you highlighted the whole link, someone could actually like, like it would be just a mess. Make sure they're just spaced out. Let me, let me just simplify that. Just make sure they're all spaced, and it'll be a much better time for you. As always, make sure you save it. Um, I save mine as demo. You can save yours as whatever you colored it, uh, my first layout, whatnot. Um, anyways, um, now you can move on to the coding part of this endeavor. And um, <laughs> we'll move on to iframe coding, which will be in my next video. For you guys, which you guys can click um, at the end of the video, you can click and it will take you there, or you can go see how a DIV is done, and I will be doing both here shortly, so, hope you enjoyed this, and it's, it's really not that hard, guys, um, I will be doing, if you're coming from Madam Hay, this is what I forgot to mention, uh, I said in the last video, the one you couldn't hear, um, <laughs> if you came from Madam Hay looking for answers to questions, I have not answered them yet, but, after I get these basic videos done, I will be doing a question video. So, please stay tuned, tell your peeps, you know, uh, spread the word around. I'm going to actually finish these. I have a three-day weekend. My amazing boyfriend is amazing. If I could just say that um, on here. Me and him are hanging out, but he's also giving me some time. So, here we are. Alright, I'm going to go. Sorry there wasn't some kick-ass music from Whip It, though one of my friends pointed out. There's not some kick-ass music from Whip It in this one, but there will be in the next couple. So, stay tuned.